Welcome back all you fragrance fanatics and beauty babes. This is video number four in my color slash entire perfume collection video series. Video number one in this series was all of my pink perfumes. And I also added in some of my purple perfumes as well. And then in the second video, I did the majority of my blue perfumes, but I did add a couple of my black and brown bottles in that video. And then the third video I did was my green perfumes, and I also had some white perfume bottles in there. And so now in this fourth video, we're gonna be going over all of my orange and red perfumes. And then my last video that I'll be making for this series will be all of my gold, yellowish gold bottles. And that is probably gonna be the longest video that I make because I feel like the majority of my perfumes are, fall into that category of color. And also, can I point out that Sadie is sleeping so nicely on the couch there and Finley is back up on his, on his little perch. I don't know, him and Noodles must like be in cahoots together, I don't know. But, um, but usually like Finley is not here. You know, this is a very rare occurrence. I like to color theme my outfit with what I'm talking about, but I really don't have anything red in my closet or orange. I've got a couple corally colors, but nothing very orange or red. And so I thought this, I've got some red flowers on a black shirt. I thought this is the best it's gonna get. Um, so without further ado, let's talk about my orange and red perfumes. First up, we're going to talk about Apple Love by Ellis Brooklyn, and this one, as the name suggests, is like a red apple perfume. It is much denser than um, Kayali's Eden Juicy Apple. That one is more of like a, a watery, like a body splash type of scent. This one is creamier. It's a little more denser, um, but still has that same type of vibe. Now there is peach in this one, which I pick up a little bit of, but it's, it's mainly about the apple. It's a sweet red apple. There's fruitiness. Uh, you get plum blossom in here as well. And it also has Madagascar vanilla, and it's just, it's very fresh, fruity, uh, really nice fall time scent. Next up, we have Lalique Le Parfum. And this one I wanted to put in the red category because like, yeah, it's kind of clear, it's kind of got the black lid, but it's got this red little dangly thing. So I thought we'll put it in the red category. So with this one, it has a bay leaf in there and that is really interesting. I don't have another perfume with that note in there. And it, we've got some almonds, some vanilla, tonka bean, heliotrope, and, but I really don't, I really don't pick up on the almond unless I'm searching for it. If I if I search for it, I can find it, but um, but it's not like super prominent. It, it does give this a powdery quality for sure. I'm assuming that's where the powderiness is coming from out of this perfume. It, and the aromatic, there's a, a very aromatic feel to this as well. And I'm assuming that is coming from the bay leaf. And then we've got the vanilla, and the vanilla is not like a sweet edible vanilla. Um, it's it's not it's not meant to be like a gourmand type of perfume. This is just a very um, easy reach, very professional type of scent. Just powdery, fresh, aromatic vanilla. Let's do um, cherry ambition next by the seven virtues. I also put this in my red category because it's got the red cherries on the front. So this one has um, the, these juicy, tart, sweet red cherries. And then you get this powdery, fluffy, sweet marshmallows. And then this has got some cherry blossom in there. And it's got some saffron, which comes off a little uh, leathery in the base, so you've got like cherries and leather and sweetness, and it just, it's very sexy, it's intoxicating, and it's also, it smells 
edible, <laughs> very, very delicious as well. The sprayers on, on this, the um, Seven Virtues perfume bottles are really high quality. And, and the, the, all of the Seven Virtues perfumes, they're under $100. They're like in the $80 range, which I find very surprising in today's world where all of the prices are going up at Sephora as far as the perfumes go. And, um, but anyway, so this one's in my top 10 for life. Absolutely love it. Next up, we have Strawberry Letter. And this is a fresh strawberries out in a strawberry field, sweet, fruity. Um, this is definitely not like uh, my Amazing Grace Intense that was in my pink video. That one is more like a strawberry shampoo. This one is like actual fresh strawberries out in a strawberry garden. And this projects really well. Like you have a nice scent bubble when you wear this. And I've got so many compliments on this. It's just, it's just really nice, refreshing, fresh strawberry scent. Next up, we have Watermelon Batica, and this one is not like a fresh watermelon. This is a watermelon candy, and but it's also very light and aquatic and kind of, it's like a more of a body splash. It's not a heavy perfume. It's very like a body splash type of vibe, and you could definitely wear this in high heat. It's a really nice, refreshing um, watermelon candy perfume. And then we have Nina Le Parfum. This one, I, I, it's, it is probably my very favorite apple perfume. Not only does it have three different types of apple in there, including green Granny Smith apple, which I love the most, but it also has tuberose in here. Tuberose, we got gardenia, orange blossom, like what is there not to love? So you've got those sweet, creamy, thick white florals, and you've got some vanilla as well. And, but this has like a fresh cleanness to it, not soapy, like the strawberry shampoo um, perfume, Amazing Grace Intense, not like that. This one's not soapy, but it is clean smelling. Um, and it kind of reminds me more, I know that in the past I've talked about how this is like a apple um, shampoo, but I, but that, that's not what this is. I, I misspoke with that because this is, is thicker than that and it's a thicker consistency and it's not necessarily soapy it is clean though so I would consider this more like a apple lotion like a creamy thick apple lotion is more of what this is with the consistency and the scent um, and it's just it's sweet it's fruity creamy white floral just absolutely love this one my absolute favorite apple perfume and now we're going to be moving into the more orange category. We've got the Taskine, the original Taskine, and I got rid of my other two Taskines. I gave, I gave them to my daughters um, because I just never wore them very much. But, but this one I really enjoy. Out of all of them, I really enjoy this one the most out of that group. This one is a spiked peach iced tea. I don't know how they did it but they did it like that's exactly what it smells like it, it is so it's got this really aromatic quality to this perfume that is perfect on a really um like hot humid day very aromatic uh the the peach is it's like a sweet peach tea but it's it's not too sweet it's just lightly sweetened like a lightly sweetened peach tea with a little bit of, you know, it's been spiked a little bit, you know, throw a little bit of alcohol in there. And that's basically what this is. And I don't have anything like that in my collection. I find it very unique and um, the price point was amazing. So that's the, the original Taskine. Next we have the Sunkissed Hibiscus and I put this in the orange category because of the, the flowers there. Um, this was kind of my introductory into more clean, scents and particularly white floral scents because before this I was not even when I first got this I was kind of like I don't know about this but this was kind of my introductory into all that and now as you as you know if you've been watching me for a while as you know I am obsessed with white florals I and I, I love them creamy and sweet I love them clean smelling either way I can take them I love all the white florals I want all the white florals 
So this one is creamy white floral and there's some coconut in there and it just smells like a very, not soapy, but a clean sun coconut suntan lotion. Um, but it smells very expensive, like an expensive coconut suntan lotion. And speaking of coconut suntan lotion, we've got the Flower Bomb Tiger Lily. This one also has that same sort of vibe, uh, except for this one does have mango in it. So it's a little bit sweeter and a little bit more tropical than the Sun Kissed Hibiscus but still that same expensive suntan lotion vibe that you get with this. And then last but not least, we have Floral Marshmallow. I, I blinged out the lid on this one, by the way. This is my second bottle. I love this perfume so much. And it's one of those things where I, ha I loved it at the beginning and then I put it away somewhere and kind of forgot about it. And then I came back to it. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. Like it just, you know, you fall back in love with it. That's what happened with Floral Marshmallow. This is a, you get sweet citruses and there's this powdery, um, fluffy marshmallows in here and vanilla. And it's just, it's delicious. I love sweet citrusy gourmands. And when you mix a, a marshmallow in there, I mean like, oh, it's just like, I feel like I'm in heaven. It's, and I've noticed that I prefer wearing, I'll, I'll wear this year round, but I feel like this smells the best in summertime because that hot, that hot heat really intensifies the sweet citrus marshmallow in here. And it just, it just like amplifies it uh, so much. So I, I love wearing it in summer. Out of all of my dossier perfumes that I've tried, and I've tried a lot, this one is my number one absolute favorite. Love it for marshmallow. So those are all of my orange and red perfumes. Like I said, up next, the final video will be all my goldish bottles that you see up all up there. Uh, so stay tuned for that video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And remember to seize the day and overspray. Bye guys.